Hi, this is Lily Cotillo. Welcome to Edging Life. I'm going to use three props this evening to share a little bit of wisdom with you. And it has to do with dating and relationships and time. I don't know how we've been conditioned, many of us anyway, to go out on dates and basically start talking about your whole life story. Probably the same 15 easy go-to stories that are easily, cranially accessible that you've told over and over again. Maybe there's some dialogue back and forth. But more so than not, rather than taking the time to build and cultivate a relationship in the power of now and share the time of the now with the person, the two individuals want to share about A through Z that transpired from age one to age God knows when about their lives. And at the end of that, either boredom sets in because they've told all the stories and the two people haven't gotten a sense of what the individual's personalities are like with respect to the now and situations that transpire or interactions between or among each other or with another person. There is not time built in to slowly let the story unfold. I mean, if you know it all in the first three months, boredom can easily set in. I mean, isn't it slightly intriguing to put together a puzzle, to master a job that you're trying to complete that has some ambiguity, to create a finished product takes time and care and adjustments rather than just being told all the directions and finishing it in half an hour and then next project, okay, move on. That's fine too. I mean, have 55 million projects in your life of different dating variety relationships. If that's what you want, absolutely nothing wrong with that. I'm just suggesting, rather than asking questions about past and bringing people to past and then making unconscious judgments and assumptions about their answers and who they are as a person, why don't you take the time to get to know the person through the actions, through the shared behaviors, and through time? Certain things will transpire or events will come up and you'll see how someone handles something or responds to something. Or perhaps a memory is elicited and then you get to hear a story from one's life that you didn't expect because it wasn't given in monologue, fast pace, you know, recorded time in the first 20 dates. So really think about taking it slowly and enjoy the process of getting to know someone and allowing for him or her to get to know you. You may even re-script your narrative of your life. Perhaps before you focused on A, C, F, and G to define who you are or who you think you are in terms of eyes of other. Maybe now you want to highlight other aspects because those are no longer important to you. You just haven't sat down and thought about re-scripting it and or changing your focus. So the three props I have to help you remember this concept of letting a relationship evolve actually into a possible relationship is... The light bulb that can go off. Ding, ding, ding. A new idea. Oh, well. It dropped. Maybe that's, you know, this thing called muscle testing. 
talks about truth. It reveals truth. It just dropped. The muscle testing revealed truth.